In ultraviolet light, scorpions are magically transformed. They glow with fluorescence. So, with an ultraviolet torch, you can get a better idea of just how abundant scorpions actually are, even in this arid wilderness. That's because they have managed to develop external skeletons that are virtually watertight. They also have powerful stings and pincers, so getting together to mate could be dangerous. A male looking for a female must be careful. She is powerful enough to kill and eat him. So he begins to dance. Is she impressed? Apparently so, and his solo becomes a pas de deux. But stings are still held high, ready to strike. She tries to sting him. His response is to give her a dose of her own medicine with a quick jab. But it's so slight, it merely makes her a little drowsy. At last, she seems more amenable. He pulls her to a part of the dance ground that is smooth and level. He has extruded a small packet of sperm on a stalk glued to the ground. He manoeuvres her so that as she dances, she goes over the stalk and takes the sperm packet up into her body. The nuptial dance is over. Her fertilised eggs stay within a special chamber in her body for more than a year while they slowly develop. And then, in her burrow deep underground, she gives birth. She has produced up to 50 young ones. They cling tightly to her back for a few weeks after birth, each sustained by a small blob of yolk in its stomach. And then, at last, they're all ready to venture into the open desert for themselves. <laughs> 